So we are back today with another rebuilding challenge here on the channel and this is one that has been done by two other rebuilding YouTubers, King of the Fourth Quarter and Six Rings of Steel. If I remember to put their links in the description then they'll be there, but if not you can just search for their channels and I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard of them. So basically I was going to do this challenge like a while ago but then I was like busy for a whole week and couldn't really upload so that kind of put it off until now and my man on twitter he knows exactly who he is there there will be tweets on the screen right now he has been telling me to do the no trade finder challenge for the longest time and so i said what team should i use and he said you should do it with the dallas mavericks all right let's try this trade chandler parsons and four second round picks for Gordon Hayward and they're not looking to accept it so I you know what I just I just wanted to do that just to see if they would have a counter offer and it's not looking like this trade oh man okay never mind Gordon Hayward welcome to the Dallas Mavericks so there we go Dallas I mean uh, Gordon Hayward is now the new starting small forward for the Dallas Mavericks I mean I wasn't going to bring back Chandler Parsons anyway so I figured might as well get something for him you guys know very well that the Wizards usually do bad in season number one. So let's try to trade David Lee to the Washington Wizards for their first round pick and Jarrell Eddy. Now, the reason why I am getting rid of David Lee is because if we look at my power forward situation without David Lee, we have four power forwards and I'd much rather have Dwight Powell be the backup uh, power forward and not have to share minutes with David Lee so let's see if they do accept it and they do end up accepting the trade offer now I'm gonna try to get my pick back from the Celtics but like I don't think that's gonna work because I just I just don't really see this happening maybe four second round picks will work just kidding they're not they're not gonna do that what about um I mean I could give them Zaza uh, Pachulia I could give you know what Devin Harris Devin Harris as well but then you would have too many players RJ Hunter and that's not gonna work so those are the only trades that I will make here in season number one this is actually really really difficult and it sucks that I don't have a trade finder so shout out to everyone that wanted me to do this and watch me suffer and fail just kidding we are not gonna fail we are going to win ourselves an NBA championship in three seasons but this is what our rotation is looking like we got Darren Williams, Wesley Matthews, Gordon Hayward, Dirk Nowitzki, and then Zaza Pachulia. And then really, I mean, the only big difference on this team is Gordon Hayward. And then uh, Dwight Powell is getting most of the minutes. Actually, he's getting all of the minutes as our backup for. I mean, really, I am fine with this team, but I'm not, not really expecting us to do too much here in season number one. So hopefully we can actually, let's not be trash because the Celtics have our pick. And if we're trash, that means that they're going to get, like, three lottery picks, maybe. Oh, J.J. Barea breaks his leg. That's great. All right, so I'm here at the trade deadline, and I came to the realization that we have just a little bit too many point guards on the roster. So here we go. Darren Williams, J.J. Barea, and two second-round picks for Jeff Teague and Kent Blazemore. Will they accept it? And they have a counter offer, and it's only Jeremy Evans for Lamar Patterson. Welcome, Jeff Teague and Kent Blazemore to the Dallas Maverick so now I think I am fine with the roster that we do have I mean really my only problem is that we don't have a backup shooting guard So maybe I can just go sign one real quick like Ray Allen Maybe Ray Allen wants to come to Dallas just like how he maybe wants to go to the Warriors in real life Which if he does that then I mean the Warriors still won't just be handed the championship because we all saw what happened with the uh, heat a couple years ago So let's see I have 12 players above a 75 overall, but the thing is, like, I don't want to run a 12-man rotation. Or do I want to run a 12? You know what? Let's just try to run a 12-man rotation, man. We got nothing to lose. We are 25-30, and 30, and we actually beat the Warriors. Okay, 2K continues to make absolutely no damn sense. And at the end of season number one, we do end up making the playoffs as the 8th seed. We did finish one game behind the Pelicans for 7th, and then one game ahead of... I believe the Nuggets for eighth and we are taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder and I'm still using the official 2k sports roster so you know they still have the two-headed monster of Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook shout out to a uh, Kevin Durant though he said that going to Golden State was the hardest path to win a championship yeah yeah funny man yeah yeah oh yeah it's so funny man all right 
can we just win a game? Like, I just want us to win one game in this series. But, I mean, we're, we're kind of down 3-0. And, I mean, you know what? There's always next year for us to win a game in the playoffs. We end up getting swept, losing by nine points in game four. You know what? You know what? I am fine with that because at least we made the playoffs and at least the Wizards, I'm pretty sure, finished with one of the worst records in the Eastern Conference. I mean, 33 and 49. That's not awful. How did the Hornets make it? How are the Hornets in the finals? What the hell, man? The Warriors end up winning the championship, winning in seven against the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, they were actually up 3-1 and then almost choked away the series. 52, 10, and 17 from Durant in game five. Holy hell. All right. Your finals MVP, probably going to be Steph Curry, even though... Oh, okay, good. It's Clay because Clay actually shows up in finals games, unlike Steph, who just kind of doesn't really show up whatsoever. You guys know how I feel about Devin Booker. Definitely one of my favorite players to get whenever I rebuild teams. So let's see if the Phoenix Suns will accept this trade. We got Wesley Matthews and our 2019 first round pick for Devin Booker and they are not looking to accept it so this is where I got to get rid of somebody and that someone's gonna be Devin Harris and that someone's also gonna be Justin Anderson but of course you guys have too many players so you can just hand me over Alexis Ajinka and they do end up accepting the trade Devin Booker my man Devin Booker welcome to the Dallas Mavericks and by the way we do have I think the ninth pick in the draft no the E we, we, we have the 8th pick in the draft. The Timberwolves somehow got the uh, number 1 pick. I don't really understand that a whole lot. Hopefully, someone great can fall to us. Like, I don't really know who who's going to fall to us. But I can try to trade up manually. But honestly, I don't think that's really going to work. So as I'm sitting here just looking at who everyone has taken, there is one name that has not been selected. And that player is Mr. Brandon Ingram. I don't know how the hell he fell to 9 or 8 or whatever pick I have, but Brandon Ingram, you are coming to the Dallas Mavericks, my man. As if this offseason couldn't get any better, Bradley Beal, Hassan Whiteside, welcome to the Dallas Mavericks. I tried to get LeBron, but he goes to the Lakers. I mean, it's fine, but we just got Hassan Whiteside and Bradley Beal on the team, so... Um, I was going to trade Wesley Matthews if I couldn't get uh, anything for him in the offseason, but obviously I did. We got Devin Booker. This team is looking really, really nice if you ask me. I mean, there's not really too much we can do to, to uh, improve this team here in the offseason, but um, I will go ahead and sign Raymond Felton back because I do need a, a backup point guard, and I think Blazemore is gone. No, okay, Blazemore is still here. Just kidding, I can't sign him, but let's go over and bring back Dwight Powell. Just kidding, so I really hope nobody wants to sign him, and I hope he just signs here on the restricted free agent qualifying offer, and we can match it, and we can't match the offer. So Dwight Powell, sorry fam, you will not be on the Mavericks this season. Who can I get? I can get Carlos Boozer. Can I get someone else besides, you know, you know what, Carlos Boozer, why not? Why not? Because I can't get any other power for it, and I can't really do a whole lot. So look who went and signed with my favorite team in the offseason, man. Boban Marjanovic. And you know what, let's just see if we can get him on the team. I have too many centers, and I want just one nice backup center, and that player for me is Boban and they want Carlos Boozer for Joseph Young. Let's go ahead and do it. Boba Marjanovic, welcome to the Dallas Mavericks. So I do need a backup four on the team. So let's go ahead and trade Raymond Felton and our 2018 second round pick for Steven Adams. I'm going to try to move him to the power four position to see if his overall goes up. Welcome Steven Adams to the Dallas Mavericks. Now please tell me. Please tell me your overall can either stay the same or go up if you are a power forward. I'm really hoping that it does. He was an 80 before and oh no, he went down. He went down to a, oh wait, no, wait, I can't even find him. An 82? Bro, wow. Okay, I was not expecting that whatsoever. So we just got our new backup for, I am fine with this team except um, I'm going to run a 10 man rotation considering. Without running a 10-man rotation, we wouldn't have a backup point guard. 
this is what our lineup is looking like. We got Jeff Teague, Bradley Beal, Gordon Hayward, Dirk Nowitzki, and Hassan Whiteside. Off the bench, we got Steven Adams, Devin Booker, Boban Marjanovic, Brandon Ingram, and Joseph Young. Man, this team is looking really nice if you ask me. This is definitely going to be a year where we once again make the playoffs, except this year I feel like we can be a top five seed in the Western Conference. And at the end of season two, we end up going 57 and 25, good enough for third in the Western Conference. Only six games behind the Thunder and Warriors, who did tie for the number one seed in the West. I mean, this team is looking really, really nice. Just everything about this team looks great, except for really the three players that don't get any minutes. But besides that, this team is looking really nice. Here is the Eastern Conference standing. Somehow the Hornets are 51 and 31. But oh wait, they have DeAndre Jordan because DeAndre Jordan always gets traded no matter what you do in my league. The Sixers are 51 and 31 with Lance Stevenson and Chris Dunn and really no one else. I don't understand that at all. And then the Raptors are 42 and 40. So really there's like three teams in the East and then it just drops off. And then in the West, there's like four or five really good teams. And then it really just drops off. But in round one, we are taking on the Utah Jazz who we did get Mr. Gordon Hayward from. And Chandler Parsons, who we did trade him for, is hurt one to two weeks with a broken nose. Really, this team doesn't scare me a whole lot, but knowing 2K, we're probably going to end up going to like six games against this team and maybe losing because knowing, I mean, like, look at this. No, like, look at this, man. Knowing 2K, we're not going to have it easy. The Warriors are somehow down 3-1 to the Grizzlies. No one's hurt on my team, but... Let's just go straight to the SimCast, man. Let's go straight here and let's see what happens. I mean, I just, you know what? Oh my, you know what? You know what, man? 2K is never on my side. Like, I think I've, I think I've just come to that realization that 2K is never on my side. The Warriors come back from 3-1. Of course they come back from 3-1. We end up losing in the first round. That's some BS. The Thunder, I believe, went back to... Actually, no, they don't win back-to-back because -back the Warriors won it last season. The Thunder win their first championship. They sweep the Philadelphia 76ers. And, uh, Westbrook. Nope. Okay, well, that's kind of awkward. Kevin Durant wins the finals MVP. Like, honestly, I feel like the Thunder would have had a really good chance to win the championship. They would have been my pick to win the championship if he stayed. But, nope, he just had to take the hardest road possible to win a championship. Like, Kevin Durant, shut up, fam. You know what, man? Last season's free agency was crazy, and this season's free agency is even crazier. Chris Paul was here. Chris Paul was in free agency. I wanted to get Blake Griffin. He wasn't here. Gordon Hayward, Chris Paul, Jeff Teague, welcome to the Dallas Mavericks. Let's go. Oh, my God. Let's Freaky go, bro. And then, you know, Steven Adams is, is going to sign with the Pacers. But I'm going to match that in a heartbeat. We just got him back. Look at this team. I mean, Chris Paul is hurt for like two to four more weeks. But when he's healthy, Chris Paul, Bradley Beal, Gordon Hayward, Steven Adams, Hassan Whiteside, Jeff Teague, Devin Booker, Brandon Ingram. Like, holy hell, this team is looking so nice. So I do need to get a backup power forward. Uh, the CPU signed Charlie Villanueva for me. I don't really want Charlie Villanueva. So let's see if they will accept this trade. They being the Portland Trailblazers. Joseph Young, Charlie Villanueva, and our 2020 first round pick for Noah Vonley and Pat Connaughton. And okay, look at this. I think we're a championship contender. Really? Really? You think you are a championship contender with Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Al Farouk Aminu, Eric Gordon, and Cody Zeller? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. You guys are totally a championship contender. What about two first-round picks? And they do accept it, man. You know what? This team is just looking a little bit, un like, too unfair. Like, honestly, look at this team, bro. I'm not making any trades. This is our rotation. We got Chris Paul, Bradley Beal, Gordon Hayward, Steven Adams, and Hassan Whiteside off the bench. Brandon Ingram, Jeff T, Devin Booker, Boba Marjanovic, and Noah Vonley. Like, this team is just way too good. If we do not win the championship this year, then that'll just confirm my belief 
that 2K honestly hates me and is never on my side. And at the end of season number three, look at this, man. We go 63 and 19, and we finish with the best record in the Western Conference. We actually finished one game ahead of the, the uh, Golden State Warriors, but we finished the year on an 11 game win streak. This is going to be an insane postseason, and we are taking on the Portland Trailblazers in, in, in round one who at the beginning of the year said that they were championship contenders. Oh, yep, uh, yep, you guys are definitely championship contenders. Here are the Eastern Conference standings. The Magic are number one. Yo, Josh Jackson and Ben Simmons, wow. With Aaron Gordon and Hazonia. Yo, that team is looking really nice. Uh, really, the rest of the East isn't really too crazy. I mean, LeBron isn't even on the Cavs, but I'm pretty sure he is on the Lakers. Round one. Taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Let's win 12 games in a row. All right, let's make it 13 games. Let's make it 14 games. You know what? Hey, you know what? 14, uh, you know what? I just don't really like the number 14, but 13's fine. And we are on to the, to the second round, and we are taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's see who they have on their team. Yo, Kevin Durant's hurt for the year. Kevin Durant is hurt for the season. Oh, my God. Please, okay, no one's hurt on the Warriors, okay? I was just kind of hoping someone was hurt on the Warriors, but here's who is on the Timberwolves. They do have uh, Paul Millsap. They uh, added him in free agency. They have Michael Carter-Williams, Marquise Chris, Trash Hibbert. I don't really understand how he is going to contribute. They got Amare Stoudemire, but, I mean, we can obviously beat this team, right? Obviously, oh, man, look at game one. Look at game number one, man. Can we just go up too well? All right, um, as long as we don't go down to one, then I'm fine. Can we just tie it up at, you know what? You know what, man? You know what? This is how I know 2K just honestly does not want me to be great. No one is hurt, and we are down 3-1 against the Timberwolves. I don't understand how. Let's just go to SimCast, and let's just see if we can somehow make this comeback. I mean, really? Oh, my God. You know what? child if he or she is choking are you choking are you choking <sighs> you know what you know what man 2k just has it out for me i mean ever since i won the championship with the thunder against the warriors well i i, I beat the warriors like are you kidding me this team should not lose in five games how did the how did the timberwolves make it to the nba finals how did they win the NBA Finals, I have no idea, man. I am so pissed right now. No one was hurt on the team. Like, oh my god, man. All right, well, Timberwolves win the championship in six games. Carl Anthony Towns is your Finals MVP. Just like I do in every single rebuilding challenge, I will go on to a fourth season and just show you guys how we do. But this challenge was a failure. Um, Really, this challenge shouldn't have been a failure. I'm pissed. I really, really am. We go 63 and 19, and we don't even make it out of the second round. Now I know what it's like to be a Clippers fan. All right, so here is the final roster. We got Bradley Beal, Chris Paul, Hassan Whiteside, Gordon Hayward, Brandon Ingram, Steven Adams, Jeff Teague, Devin Booker, Boban Marjanovic, the seven foot four beast out of Serbia. We got Noah Vonley, Pat Connaughton, Lamar Patterson, Glenn Robinson III, and Rakeem Christmas. Like, let's just see how many players we had above an 80. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine players above an 80 overall. You guys just experienced counting class with CSB. Man, I am so pissed. I am so incredibly pissed. We had what? Like, 13 players above a 75 or 14. I don't know, man. I'm I'm just, I'm pissed. I really am. Like, we should not have lost. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section what kind of rebuilding challenges you want to see next. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace.